Hello, I'm Juan Fernandez and here's your CBS On The Go update. We begin with your CBS2 travel forecast. Here's meteorologist Craig Herrera. Hey there, Juan. We've got a couple of systems moving across uh, the U.S.-Canadian border, bringing some more snow to the northern Cascades and the northern Rockies as well. A little system down to the south, uh, and that's going to bring some scattered showers to Texas. Got another system bringing some more scattered rain through the Gulf Coast states, and watch what happens here. You've got some thunderstorms moving through just east Tennessee and over through the Carolinas, and then on the north side of that where all the cold air is, you've got some snow from New York to Washington up in through the Great Lakes, and that'll be Saturday afternoon. More scattered snow for Billings, and we've got some dry conditions for Southern California for now all the way through the desert southwest and this isn't through Sunday afternoon. A few more scattered showers here from Alabama over to Georgia and through Louisiana. As far as traveling across the lower 48 tomorrow, some trouble spots perhaps could be in through Washington. Some snow there, 34 for a high, 34 in Chicago with more snow there as well, 63 in El Paso and we're getting up to uh, close to the 70 degree mark in Los Angeles. And one, it looks like as we go through the week ahead, LA starts to cool down into next week with chance for light scattered showers. All right, Craig, thanks. An old fashioned table game is getting more play than ever. Mahjong is no longer the grandma's game and it's sweeping the nation. Kenneth Craig shows us why it's attracting a new generation of fans. I am one it's Mahjong Monday at Sarah Beth's restaurant in New York City and the place is packed. Barbara Gale has been playing for 22 years. I started when I moved to the suburbs and it was the way to meet other people and get out of the house for a little while. Mahjong began in China, but Americans have been playing the game for a century. It's similar to rummy, but uses tiles rather than cards. Seven bam. These days, it's attracting a new generation of fans. It's all changed. It's really not your grandmother's game anymore. White dragons go with the suit of dots. Linda Feinstein has been teaching Mahjong for nearly 20 years. It started very small, and pretty soon I, I didn't have enough days in the week. To, to fulfill all the requests that I were getting. The National Mahjong League says the number of players in the U.S. has grown about 5% each year for the past decade and is now at an all-time high. Anne Anthony is taking lessons with three of her friends. I would say about six or eight months ago, I learned about a class that I had missed and instantly had fear of missing out and had to find another one. The game is about 30% luck and 70% skill. Marjorie. Players say it helps keep the brain sharp. You have to go with the flow, you have to regroup a lot. It's a little mental exercise. Nine bam. The other bonus is the community. Feinstein says many of her students form such close bonds, da, 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 da. they remain friends for life. Five, Kenneth bam. Craig, New York. Now here's your CBS on the go sports. The NBA's all-star festivities will be held at Staples Center this weekend. The festivities ramp up Saturday night with the much anticipated slam dunk contest, as well as the three point shootout and the skills competition. Saturday's events begin at five. Then Sunday, it is the 67th NBA all-star game. There's a new format this year. Instead of East versus West, it's Team LeBron versus Team Steph. The new look game tips off Sunday night at 5. Tickets to all the events are sold out. The cheapest seat currently listed for Sunday on StubHub is going for $350 to sit in the upper deck. Immediately following CBS 2 News at 11 tonight, watch The Late Show with Stephen Colbert. Guests include actress Kate Winslet. And right after Colbert, watch The Late Late Show with James Corden. His guests include Annette Bening and Rachel Brosnahan. Watch Corden and Colbert right after CBS 2 News at 11. And that's your CBS On The Go update. Remember, we're always on CBSLA.com. And join us every night for CBS 2 News at 5, 6, and 11.